Lily. Today I'm going to read you American School Textbook Basic One, Unit Thirteen to Unit Sixteen. Unit Sixteen. Let's read it. Unit Thirteen. A World of Plants. Number One. Kinds of plants. There are many species of plants. However, scientists divide them into two main groups. These are flowering plants and conifers. The main difference between them is how they produce their seeds. A plant seeds are what let it reproduce. Flowering plants have flowers and produce seeds. In flowers, most plants are flowering plants. They include peas, strawberries, cherries, and roses. Conifers do not have flowers. Instead, they produce their seeds inside of cones. Pine trees, fir trees, and spruce trees are conifers. Many conifers are evergreen trees. Evergreen trees have needles instead of leaves as they green all year long. While most conifers have needles for leaves, the majority of trees are deciduous trees. Deciduous trees have broad leaves that usually change color in the fall. Also, they drop their leaves in winter. In spring, the leaves grow back again. Unit fourteen: A World of Plants, number two. How do plants make food? All living things need energy to live. Animals eat food to get energy, but plants make their own food. They do this in a process called photosynthesis. Plants use sunlight in order to make their food. Leaves are the main food-making part of a plant. A leaf is green because it has a substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is found in chloroplasts, which are where is where a plant makes its food. First, when the sun shines on a leaf, the chlorophyll absorbs sunlight. Then the chloroplast uses carbon dioxide. Water and the sun's energy to make sugar. The sugar is food for the plant. This process is photosynthesized. As photosynthesis occurs, the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air. At the same time, the plant gives off oxygen into the air. This is what people. This is what people breathe. All animals must breathe in oxygen to stay alive. Or so, thanks to plants, people and animals can live too. Unit fifteen, a word of animals number one, classific classifications of animals. Animals can be grouped according to their traits. One way to classify animals is by whether or not they have backbones. An animal with a backbone is called a vertebrate. All mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and amphibians are vertebrates. An animal without a backbone is called an Invertebrate. Invertebrates include insects, flatworms, sponges, shrimp, and lobsters. Or vertebrates can be further divided into two classes: warm-blooded animals and cold-blooded animals. Warm-blooded animals can regulate their body temperatures. So if if it is very cold or very hot outside, their bodies stay the same temperature. Mammals and birds are warm-blooded. Cold-blooded animals need the sun to warm their bodies, so their body temperatures can change without the su- surrounding temperature. These animals often rest in the sun for hours to suck up heat. Reptiles, fish, and amphibians are cold-blooded. Okay, I'll show. A little picture. Okay, look at this. There is there are vertebrates and invertebrates, and the vertebrates can be divided into two groups: warm-blooded animals, cold-blooded animals. The last unit, unit sixteen, a world of animals, number two. What do animals need to live and grow? All animals have basic needs to live and grow. They all need food, water, air, and shelter. An animal needs food and water to stay alive. Food and water give an anim- animal energy. Like fuel runs a machine, or animal needs energy to work. As an animal grows, it needs more food and water. 
All animals need oxygen to breathe. How do animals get oxygen? Animals that live on land take in oxygen through their lungs. And but fish, but fish and some water animals do not have lungs. Instead, they breathe with gills to take in oxygen for, from water. All animals need a shelter, a place to live. This shelter keeps them safe from the weather and from other animals. Animals also respond to changes in their environment to survive. When the weather gets colder, some animals migrate to warmer places. Some animals find places to hibernate. Cold-blooded animals lie in the sunlight to warm their bodies. Da, bye.